This video is going to be all about Downton Abbey. It's a British television series that's won multiple awards. It deals with British history. It deals with the lives of the British aristocracy back in the early 20th century. You see the lives of people as it evolves during this time. It does involve a lot of historical figures. It involves a lot of historical events that happen. In the beginning you get to hear about the sinking of the Titanic and that's how the whole show gets started off. That's how the plot begins. And all these subtle allusions to different historic events make it very interesting for viewers. They've really captured the manner in which the aristocracy was once a very powerful and integral part of British society and the fabric of British society. But like in 1926, during the Roaring Twenties, which are also portrayed, there are references to the bright young things. And, and towards the 1920s, you get to see that British aristocracy declines. And you can see that how the lines sort of start to blur between different uh, groups of people and different classes of people and how a lot of transgressions are made. You have a driver who is just working for the family, marrying one of the daughters in that family and sort of breaking class barriers. And how he eventually integrates into aristocratic society because of, you know, having overcome all the barriers. But then again, there's discrimination and all of that is portrayed really well. Another thing they cover is you know, medical science and how medical science wasn't what it is today back in the 20th century. So medical science was really backward and people didn't have the kind of treatment that is provided, um, half of the kind of treatment provided today. A lot of crazy things happened, like they had stomach ulcers bursting, a pregnancy could kill you and your lifespan was not going to be too long. So a lot of people dying, a lot of people being born. It is about this family but towards the end you really grow attached to the family and you really feel for them and that's the magic of the show that it really makes you irrespective of your color and class and everything you sort of still grow with the Crawleys and you you your their story becomes your story and you sort of want to be part of that story. The best part is a finale and I really like that because towards the end it sort of reminded me of Love Actually. Everyone gets their happy endings and everyone gets what they wanted and everyone's really happy and all the uh, you know struggles that are definitely part of life have been overcome and the resolution is brilliant. I mean, season 5 was kind of down because it was kind of boring but nevertheless they introduced some interesting plot points like they introduced, they introduced an African American into the uh, plot and they addressed race as it was in Britain in the 1920s. They also um, refer to a lot of other historical uh, figures like Hitler is referenced in the sixth season and uh, yeah so if you can pick up on all these subtle historical allusions and references then you'll really find it really interesting and you can you know do research alongside while you're watching the show. I must warn you that it does get a bit um, slow at times and for people who don't have that much patience and who don't want to uh, you know, immerse themselves in history and the kind of uh, lives people led back in the 20th century, then I don't think you should give this a shot. Especially if you're very invested in a character, you might be put off in the end. If, you know, for instance, I was very much invested in the character of Matthew Crawley and when he died in season three's end finale, I was extremely upset. So it took me a while to garner the guts to start season four again, but I did not regret it when I had overcome the shock of his death and finally got down to watching season five. I was not sorry because it does pick up well and they do, um, you know, make the best of it. So I definitely think you should still give it a shot even if at some point you feel that, you know, this show is not for me and it's getting really difficult for me to digest. But yeah, you should still watch it. Um, so that's all I have to say about Down Abbey. Let me know if you liked any other things about the show and if you watched it, if you've given it a shot. And if you're planning to give it a shot, I would love to hear all of your opinions and ideas in the comment section down below. Anything I've missed, please mention in the comments. I will leave a link to the series on IMPD in the description box down below. And let me know if you have any other suggestions of similar shows. I absolutely love British history, American history, and the way uh, people led their lives back in a different century. Sometimes I even feel like I should have been born in a different century. That's a topic for another day. I hope you like this really different non-bookish video for starters. And I will see you really soon. Lots of bookish love. Bye!